What's going on collectors? Optical 20 back for another video review. This time it's uh, Shaquille O'Neal from Enterbay. And you can purchase this figure or any other Enterbay NBA figures at BigBadToyStore.com. Just click the link down below. Now, this is a gigantic box as you can see here. Uh, kind of resembles Shaq all together. He's a, a massive imposing figure on um, literally and also in person i am i'm assuming i haven't met him but he is a gigantic person it's like seven four oh what 320 pounds or something like that so this box he came it comes with two pair of bodies as you know it's a two pack but you can see i got this from big bad but it looks like it's been sitting on their shelves for quite some time now so you can see there's some dust in the body but that's it's all good you know you know i kind of wiped it off and you know got rid of it so you can see here he comes with two stands um this certificate of authenticity um it says shaquille o'neal and on the back there is the two jerseys the two major franchises that he uh played for and he's known for you know as we all know towards the end of his career he um kind of went haywire he kind of went all over the place uh i wouldn't call that maybe he was ring chasing you know but it's not like he has shortage of rings so i i don't know trying to prolong his career but i didn't really it, to me it didn't really tarnish his legacy but you know i, I want to remember him as a laker and as a uh an orlando magic as you can see he comes with a bunch of hands uh, you know just the typical hands a ball a magnetic ball this is his first shoe i'm not quite sure what it's called honestly but me personally back in the day i can remember my first um like real expensive shoe was his reebok i know this is reebok as you can see the sole right there but i don't think they do have the uh the license so it would remain generic as you can see at the back you can see his logo it says shack uh it doesn't have the guy dunking uh, but I believe on this one it does have C34. This is what he wore when he was with the Lakers. See their Shaq. Um, not quite. I didn't follow his his shoe line to be quite honest with you. And and I think Ascenders in general doesn't have really good success. You can see in the back that's the logo because um, you know there's only several centers like seven footer. You know, so if you're buying shoe, you're gra I'm gravitated more towards guards because I'm not, you know, I'm not going to be 7'4", not even close to that. H however, I was saying earlier, my first real shoe or expensive one was uh, Shaq Gnosis. The one was kind of hypnotized. But as you can see here, I just want to show you the difference. This is the Shaq shoe and this is Jordan 1 from both figures, Enter Bay. So it's not a custom or anything, but you can see the scale here. I mean, Shaq is a big guy. Jordan is no small guy himself. He's 6'6", but compared to Shaq, he would be, uh, you know, uh, a midget compared to Shaq and also his, his mere presence on the court. The jersey is amazing, but as you can see there, the logo of NBA is a bit um, reddish. I guess there's some uh, fading going on there, but it's okay. I got this figure on, on sale at Big Bad Toy Store, so... You know any minor imp imperfections i am um, i'm totally cool with it but this jersey is terrific it is um you can see it's not just printed but it is actually you know you can see the stitches on the actual uniform and it just feels um even the numbers you can see there's two layers on the numbers it's not iron on you know kind of like the, the earlier jordans this one just feels and it just you know once you hold it in your hand the uniform itself it just feels premium and you can see here some tattoo man of steel um he's gonna have a different set of tattoo this is the los angeles lakers body where he's a bit bigger you know compared to and then on the side here uh, I know he got a sleeves now, so this might not be super accurate, but you can see also he does come and it's optional with his uh, wristband and at his uh, and his shin, you know, he got some tattoos as well. So you can mix and match and this is what he is and the Orlando Magic, a little bit more slender, but Shaq has always been big and powerful even though, you know, he was in his rookie years. So it's still he's still a little bit chunky, but less tattoos and the gut is a little bit smaller. Uh, you can clearly tell right from the bat, you know, once you get it, he only has the Man of Steel tattoo here uh, compared to the Los Angeles Lakers body. But uh, to me, I don't know. I, I like both figures. Uh, this is the hand that 
um, this has the magnet on it same sort of uniform but the the fabric that they used um, on this uniform I think it's a lot better it kind of has some holes in it so it kind of like for air to breathe out kind of just the same material that they use for the actual uniform and um, funny enough I was watching blue chips the other day and I didn't even expect that it's on Amazon Prime so it just kind of gives me more motivation to review this figure as you can see here I'm, I'm gonna review first the head sculpt for the Orlando Magic head sculpt um, and this looks amazing uh, it's a bit darker here but um, as you can see that there's a lot of texture in the face uh, it looks exactly just like him you can see the fold on the back of his neck he's a big boy so uh, uh, only thing is that I, I wish the uh, the skin tone it did match right there but the fade on the hair you know just they just gotta they gotta master that you know they gotta put the fade a little bit earlier so it do doesn't catch up on the back of his neck but uh, you know overall I'm you know extremely impressed uh, Enter Bay for the most part hits their head sculpt you know there's very few times that you know but they're always close you know they're they don't really have a bad one I don't know if I can consider Blake Griffin a bad one but it's all right to me honestly but as far as this shack um, he does have a hair so it would imply this is Orlando magic but this is the I would say more of a uh, basketball facial expression because the other one is he's smiling kind of reminds me of the Kobe Bryant version 2 uh, which is it's a good portrait still but as you can see here he's a little bit chunkier and he's smiling uh, so you can't really put him there's limitations on what kind of poses you can give him obviously he has two bodies two sets of uniform so it's it's great you know I think I got this figure for $240 and I'm glad I did uh, because it's two pack so it's kind of like 120 per figure which is terrific you know Shaq is a legend and I would say in my entire life of watching basketball he's probably the most dominant force that I've seen and I've seen quite a few players uh, LeBron with his physical presence still on Shaq's prime this guy was just a physical monster he's just unstoppable like people are really really playing football on him he is tackling guys uh, and it's just he didn't flop uh, he just um, you know eating guys alive so you know Dikembe Mutombo was a pretty good defender and he made him look average just because of his mere size uh, to say that he doesn't have any skill set I think is is unfair because you know there's guys who's massive Oliver Miller was massive but he didn't know how to use his size so I think that's a skill set but as far as the portrait I think it looks terrific you know it's a little bit chunkier here uh, it goes well to the Kobe Bryant version 2 you know if you just want to make them standing right next to each other um, you know maybe just won the championship but as far as let's say backing down Dennis Rodman in the paint you know if you're trying to go for that post uh, I don't know it'll be hard-pressed to do so I guess I guess it could still work you know maybe just laughing off a guy but dunking and you know all that stuff it's it's a bit it's a bit of a stretch uh, so you can see them side by side you can clearly see the gut on the Lakers 34 uh, figure you know it's a little bit squishy um, the magic one still has some but it's not as prominent as the Lakers one on the Lakers he got kind of lazy he's he was still massive and big and, and powerful but you know when he was Orlando paired up with this another you know guy right here Penny Hardaway they were uh, magical no pun intended but I thought they were really gonna be the team to beat back then but you know uh, things have turned you know they beat the Bulls and the rest is history and this is what I'm talking about they don't have the same color of uniform but no one can deny this two made spectacular plays this he's smiling you know I, I was gonna put the trophy in his hand but Kobe Bryant I uh, forgot to change his facial expression here so as usual he's intense and Shaq is having fun now if you want to post him around you know somebody in, in his kind of almost the same position Dennis Rodman big size difference as well Dennis Rodman is what listed at 6768 but in reality he might be like more of a 66 he did stop Shaq though if you don't believe me 
Google had, when he was with Chicago. He gave Shaq some problems when he was with Orlando. And this is more of a uh, fitting picture, I would say. Kobe Bryant and Shaq, three championships together. So this is a good, this is a good photo right here or video. Um, you know, it's like a good post if you're gonna put them on your shelf. Uh, too bad the uniforms doesn't match. I hope they were both wearing purple. But again, you know, you can probably get some custom jerseys for Kobe Bryant. But they're both smiling, happy times back in the day in LA before Kobe decided that he wanted to be the man but let's see here you know I'm trying to have Kobe hold his waist they, they just look terrific man and they were they were a force to be reckoned with back then um, holding the title you know I have more titles you know with me but in, in, in different Jordan and Rodman figures but there you go guys I gotta get out of my studio here because I want to showcase him I actually you know took some videos of him dunking but it just got corrupted maybe I'll do it one you know some other time but here he is dunking you know like his signature dunk when he was in Orlando pulling down the rim you know you can also use his stand you know just put it on his leg he has a hand holding the rim so that's pretty amazing and you can see Shaq right there doing his um, I don't know what you call that but he's it's kind of like his signature pose so that's pretty cool as well and you know I'm getting I'm using the storm toys board I don't have the enter bay rim you know but this is good enough for me here he is like holding onto the rim which you don't need to stand technically but I feel bad for the rim because he is a heavy figure so that should be it folks so um, if you're planning to buy Shaq yeah, I don't think it's available at BBTS anymore but other figures are and some of them are on sale um, is it worth the price if you're a fan of the 90s I would say two three hundred is worth it you know maybe 275 350 it's still okay but yeah it's just me thank you for watching guys and hope you subscribe to my channel and until next time